So why I got into athletics is actually pretty random. Um, in my first year, I was in re in Rus Marine residence, and um, we were actually in a first year's meeting, and the meeting was carrying on for hours and hours, and I was like tired, and they were wanting volunteers for the um, first year's athletics. So I volunteered, but actually I just volunteered to get the meeting over with, so it wasn't really something that I was ever considering doing. And uh, so I came and I participated in the 100 meter sprint, and um, actually after that my RC sports of that year was so inspired she was like you really need to get coaching blah 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 and I um, I started sort of running more and getting fitter and then I actually started enjoying it and then I ran my first road race in May that year and after that I just really enjoyed athletics so I, I kept on doing it so it was never really part of the it wasn't a conscious decision it was kind of like a athletics found me in a way anyone else can 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 just go out and run I have to I can't just put on my shoes I have to find a partner because for me athletics is not an individual sport it's a team sport so in terms of that I think one of my one challenge would be finding a training partner luckily I've got a few guys who's willing to assist so we are about four on a whatsapp group and then I just ask who's available I think one of the the biggest achievements for me was running the African record in the marathon last year in Berlin. The marathon has always been quite daunting for me. In term, I'm quite young and I haven't done many marathons. So I've done three now and Berlin last year was my second marathon and my first marathon did not go well at all. So I literally feared going into the Berlin and, and running an African record and, and 26 seconds off the world record really it made me see that this is something that I actually can do. Um, I can run and compete in marathons as well. So that was great. And then I broke my world record in the 5,000 meters last year in Berlin in Germany. Um, and for me, that was also, it was just a cool race. And I've always wanted to run an 18 flat on a 5,000 and I've done it now. So yeah, that I think those were my my biggest highlights thus far. When I'm not running well, I have, I'm a residence head, so I work at the university, so I sometimes I unwind with my students, but that's also sort of work, so I guess that can't really count. Um, but it, that's definitely a big part of who I am is my residence, Acacia. Um, and then I watch series, read a book or an article, depending on what I need to do. Um, like an academic article or I, I just enjoy reading um, I enjoy baking a lot so I bake and I take walks I, w I enjoy hiking I don't do it often because it kind of clashes with running in a way because sometimes hikes take long um, and they're quite grueling on the body so that's also unfortunately that priority it comes second to my athletic priority only a Kofsi knows the feeling of joy when another person at the same institution achieves something like breaking a 400 meter world record or becoming a Nobel Prize winner or being named the number one player in a World Cup. I think us as Kofsis, we really have each other's backs and hearts and I think to me that's the most important thing and that's something that I've learned at the university is that we should all give each other space in the sun and we should all give each other time to shine.